Have you ever wondered how the recoil spring on a chainsaw actually works? And how it relentlessly keeps pulling the cord back in, time and time again regardless of how many times you pull it? If so, then keep watching this video, because you're just about to know. Hello and welcome. This very short video is all about explaining the basics of how the recoil spring works on your chainsaw. Because one thing you'll notice is, if you've seen a recoil spring, is that it's not an average looking spring. It doesn't look like this type of spring that we naturally associate with when we think of a spring. And so exactly how does it work and allow us to use the starter recoil the way it does? And why would you need to know this? Well, knowledge is indeed power, and in order to attempt any repair on anything, then it's best to have an understanding on the very thing that you're repairing. And if you'd like to see the full version of this video, where I go through some possible causes of chainsaw recoil failure and some remedies, then please take a look in the description below. There's a link there that will take you directly to it. And so then, as most of us know, the recoil spring can be found underneath the recoil pulley. And to get to it, we generally need to remove one bolt or screw in the center, whilst making sure that there's no tension on the spring. Again, the full version of this video goes through how to remove this in a little more detail. And so then, how does it actually work? How does it actually pull that cord back in once we've pulled it out? Simply put, when it's all in situ inside the recoil housing, the recoil pulley sits on top of the recoil spring just like this. And then when the recoil cord is pulled, it of course unwinds the cord off the pulley and thus turns it. No surprise there, but as it turns, there's an opening in the pulley that allows the protruding area of the spring to fit into, and as the pulley turns, it turns the spring in this direction. The more the pulley turns, the more tension's being put on that spring. You can see that by the spring coils getting smaller and smaller as more tension is loaded onto them. And so spring steel, being of course spring steel, it has memory and it wants to go back to those larger coils again. So as soon as it's allowed to do so and I take the tension off the cord, then they will spring back to those larger coils. And that of course spins the pulley back the opposite way and pulls the cord back in. And so now we can get the picture of how this works. So this is what the spring actually looks like when it's taken out of the housing. It's one large coil of spring steel. So you can see there that it is uniquely different to what we might associate with being your average spring. OK, so I hope that's given you a basic understanding of how the recoil spring works. And I want to thank you so much for watching this video. And please do take a look down in the description below where I've got some links to my website for some free downloads. I've designed these to help with diagnostics, troubleshooting and repairs of two-stroke engines, mainly chainsaws. The best of it is they're printable so you can take them into the workshop with you and work at your own pace. There are some paid downloads but most of them are and will continue to be free. And I shall be continuing to add new free content here so please do keep your eyes on this side of the site. And in the meantime I shall be back soon. Thank you for watching.